So here's a one bot outfitted with three SR04 ultrasonic sensors, two on the side and one here in the front. And we're going to use those three sensors to navigate this little maze here. The one bot is run by a Teen C3.2 which is on a Patent Robotics PRT3 motherboard. The robot is made by Patent Robotics as well as all these 3D printed um, sensors that are designed by Patent Robotics or, or rather sensor holders. Again the sensors are ultrasonics. The idea here is we want to use these two sensors on the side to see which one is closest to the uh, to the wall um, and if they get if, if the front sensor gets too close then it will veer to the left and if the rear sensor gets too close it will also veer to the left if the front sensor gets too far away from the wall then it veers back to the right again and this way it can go around corners if the I should have said that the front side sensor if the front sensor the, the front facing sensor here gets too close to the wall then it uh, will turn to the left to avoid so let's see it in action This is the same algorithm that was used for the IR sensor. The only thing that changed was the was simply the code that was used to get distances from the ultrasonic sensors. I can turn off the motors and just like we did with the infrared sensor application we're going to move the power from 5 volt regulated to uh, VN or battery power. This is going to make the robot faster. It's not calibrated for VN but let's see how it goes. Actually, one could argue that battery power is a uh, better calibration. Oh, much better, actually. So you can tweak and play with it to get, you know, perfect motion like this. This, of course, was serendipitous, but... You can spend a lot of time with your robot to make sure that it works well in any circumstance. The problem with VN is that as the batteries die, um, then the, the motion will change a bit, whereas 5 volt regulated will always behave the same way until the batteries get really low. And again, I'm not giving you the code here at this site because this is such a common problem of maze navigation algorithm and I think students need to figure this out on their own but I think you perhaps see enough clues here have a, to have an idea of perhaps how to program this yourself. It's not a lot of code but 
how the side sensors behave um, is something to think about. Of course, the sensor that takes precedence is the front sensor. The front sensor, the orange and, and blue in there. If the front sensor sees a, a wall, then it needs to avoid it.